Well, it's almost springtime, and the birds and the wasp are doing their thing. I mean, the grass is growing, and the bees are growing, and the birds are growing. But you know what? That's not the real question. The real question is, are you actively growing in the grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you growing? That's the question. Well, in this week's episode of the Midweek Refill, we're going to be exploring one of Jesus' parables called the growing seed. It's found in Mark 4, 26 through 29. And in these verses, Jesus illuminates the path to spiritual growth and abundance, likening it to the miraculous process of a seed blossoming into a mighty tree. I'm excited to share this parable with you. I am your host, Bishop A. Reginald Lippman, the proud senior pastor of the New Mountaintop Church. And on behalf of the New Mountaintop Church, we would definitely like to welcome you to our Bible study that takes place right here on your screen. We're coming right into your device every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget that there is a free PDF handout full of study notes and a seven-day devotional located right below in the description box. I definitely want you to grab it and pray with me and meditate with me for the next seven days on these same passages that are relevant to this particular teaching. Well, get ready to embark on an exciting journey through this timeless wisdom that is found in the parable of the growing seed as it is shared in Mark chapter 4, verse 26 through verse number 29. Now, in these verses, Jesus illuminates the path to spiritual growth and abundance, and he likens it to the miraculous process of a seed blossoming into a mighty tree. And just as that tiny seed holds all the potential in the world to be able to grow, so do you and I also possess the seeds of greatness on the inside of us that help us to grow and evolve, to develop, and to become. So as we delve into this parable together, we're going to uncover profound insights that will uplift your spirit and propel you toward your God-given destiny. You see, God's kingdom is constantly at work, quietly and steadily advancing in our lives, just like the hidden growth of a seed beneath the soil and just as a seed must be nurtured and tended to in order to flourish, so too must we cultivate our faith and align our lives with God's divine purpose. Through this study, you'll gain a deeper understanding of God's unfailing love, His provisions for your life, and you'll also discover practical principles that will empower you to overcome obstacles and thrive in every area of your life. So, Get ready to step into a new season of growth and abundance as we continue to study the parables of our Lord Jesus Christ and as we uncover the transformative truths that the parable of the growing seed shares with us. Listen, your best days are ahead of you, not behind you. And God has amazing plans in store for you. So let's read today's passage as we prepare to gain heavenly wisdom from the parable of the growing seed. Now, Mark 4, verse 26 through 29, reads like this. And he said, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground, and should sleep by night, and rise by day, and the seed should sprout and grow. And he himself? does not know how. For the earth yields crops by itself, first the blade, then the head, after the full grain. 
But when the grain ripens, immediately he puts in the sickle because the harvest has come. Now, friends, in this remarkable passage of Scripture, Jesus paints a vivid picture of the kingdom of God. In it, he uses a simple yet profound analogy, that of the growing seed. Now, as we embark on the story of this amazing parable, let's not neglect the background of this powerful story. You see, by delving into the historical and cultural milieu in which Jesus spoke these words, we can gain invaluable insights into the profound truths that he sought to convey to his original audience and vicariously to us today who represents his audience as well. Their struggles and their triumphs, their hopes and their fears, they all play a really pivotal role in illuminating the timeless relevance of Jesus's teachings for us today. And let's not forget the practical applications that this parable has for us as modern day Christians. You see, this just isn't some dusty old tale from the ancient times. It is a living, breathing revelation that speaks directly to the challenges and the opportunities that we face in our own lives today. Just as Jesus' original listeners grappled with the uncertainties and obstacles, so too do we navigate our own unique set of obstacles and circumstances. But take heart. My friends, I want you to take heart as you study this parable because the principles that are embedded within this parable offer us guidance and inspiration to overcome every trial and triumph in our faith journey. So as we delve deeper into the teachings of Jesus' parable, let's do this with an eager heart and an open mind, ready to receive all he has in store for us. So this parable is very short, and often we can approach it with a sense of contempt because it's a short passage. But if we allow this passage to take root in our hearts, it will nurture our faith and propel us toward a life of purpose and abundance. Are you ready? Come on, type ready in the comments. So let's delve in to this transformative power that the parable of the growing seed shares with us. And then let's dive in together and watch as God's kingdom begins to unfold in our very midst through this parable, bringing forth new growth and blessings beyond our wildest dreams. So family, let's take a moment to just kind of explore the rich background of this captivating story from Mark chapter 4, verse number 26 through verse number 29. Picture it with me. Jesus is surrounded by a crowd gathered by the sea, and he speaks in parables, weaving together profound spiritual truths with everyday imagery. Now, in this particular parable, Jesus shares the tale of a man who scatters seed upon the fertile ground. And as the days pass, the seed sprouts and it grows. First the stalk, then the head, and finally the ripened grain. It's a beautiful illustration of the miraculous process of growth and transformation that takes place in the natural world. But here's the thing, my friends. You see, the man in this story doesn't fully comprehend how the seed grows. He simply trusts in the process and waits patiently for the harvest. And therein lies the powerful lesson for each and every one of us this week. Just as the man trusts in the unseen workings of nature, so too are we called to trust in the unseen workings of God's divine plan for our lives. You see, God's ways are not our ways. God's timing is not always our timing. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. 
But when we surrender ourselves to his will and trust in his unfailing love and provision, we can rest assured that he's working all things together for our good. So, my friends, as we reflect on this timeless parable, let's remember to trust in the process, even when we can't see the full picture. Let's have faith that just as the seed grows and matures in its own due time, so too will God's promises for our lives come to fruition in his perfect timing. And as we patiently await the harvest, let's continue to cultivate a spirit of faith, a spirit of expectancy, knowing that God is faithful to bring about his purposes in our lives. As Jesus was teaching around the sea, many of those who were around him would have likely have been farmers or intimately familiar somehow with agricultural processes and practices. For them, the process of sowing and reaping was not just a livelihood. It was a way of life, a daily reminder of the rhythms of growth and harvest. Now, in sharing the parable of the growing seed, Jesus literally taps into the mindset of this familiar backdrop to convey his profound spiritual truths. Just as the farmers trusted in the natural process of seed growth, so too did Jesus call his his followers and his disciples to trust in God's sovereignty and in his perfect timing in the advancement of his kingdom. You see, family, in a world that is filled with uncertainties, filled with challenges, and all of that, Jesus' message brought comfort and reassurance. It reminded his audience that even in the midst of life's storms, God is at work, quietly and steadily advancing his kingdom purposes. And just as the man in the parable patiently waited for the harvest, so too were Jesus' followers encouraged to trust in God's unfolding plan for their lives. Moreover, this parable served as a call to action. It was a reminder that while God is sovereign, he also invites us to play a part in his kingdom work. You see, just as the farmer tended to the soil and cared for the growing seed, so too are we called to cultivate a heart of faithfulness, obedience, trusting that our efforts, no matter how great or how small, are making a difference in God's kingdom. So friends, as we reflect on the relevance of this parable to Jesus's original audience, let's also consider its timeless significance for us today. And let's trust God's sovereign timing, knowing that he is always at work in our lives, bringing about growth and transformation according to his perfect plan. And as we align ourselves with his purposes, let's step forward in faith, ready to sow seeds of love so that we can produce a harvest of hope, a harvest of redemption in this world around us. For truly with God, all things are possible. If you believe that, put something in the chat. Just so, just say, I'm possible, it's possible, or just type the word possible. With God, all things are possible, and his kingdom will continue to advance both now and forever, and that's just the truth. So I'll just say amen right there. My friends, let's take a moment to really unpack the timeless applications of the parable of the growing seed for us as modern day believers. As we dive into these truths, why don't we just open up our hearts to the transformative power of God's word. Firstly, let's talk about truth in God's sovereignty. Because just as the man in the parable trusted in the unseen process of seed growth, So, too, 
are we called to trust in God's sovereignty and timing in the advancement of his kingdom? Beloved, even when we can't see the full picture, let's have the faith that God is at work orchestrating every event in our lives and in the world around us in ways beyond our comprehension. Do you believe that? I absolutely know that God is at work in the world around us, and he's working beyond our capacity to comprehend. Just like a seed takes time to sprout and to mature, guess what? Our spiritual journey is often also something that takes time to sprout and to mature. Our spiritual journey is a gradual process. It requires patience and perseverance as we trust that God is working in us and that God is also working in others, even when we can't see immediate results. So my friends, let's remain steadfast in our faith knowing that God is absolutely faithful beyond our wildest dreams and that God can give us the growth we need and the transformation that we need in his own perfect timing. Finally, let's talk a little bit about faithfulness in sowing, faithfulness in sowing. The man in the parable faithfully scattered the seed, trusting that growth would come in due time. Similarly, as modern Christians, we are called to be faithful in sharing the message of the gospel with other people. You know what? It is our task to sow seeds of love, seeds of kindness, seeds of truth wherever we go, knowing that God will bring about growth and change in his own timing and according to his will. So, my friends, as we reflect on these timeless truths, let's commit ourselves to trust in God's sovereignty. Also, to exercise patience in our spiritual growth and to be faithful in sowing the seed of the gospel. And as we do, let's watch in awe (laughs) as God brings forth new growth and blessings in every single one of our lives and in this world all around us. And I believe that's what God's going to do as we become growing seeds. So in closing, dear friends, let's just bask in this profound wisdom that is encapsulated within the parable of the growing seed. This is a timeless story that serves as a beacon of light. It guides us toward deeper understanding of our faith and our role as Christians in God's kingdom. First and foremost, let's remember this the importance of trusting in God's sovereignty. God has it all figured out, and believe it or not, he doesn't need your help or mine to get it done. We have to trust in God's sovereignty. Just like the man in the parable trusted in the unseen process of seed growth, so too are we called to place our trust in the mighty hand of God. And family, Let's relinquish our worries and our fears, knowing that God is in complete and entire control and knowing that God has a plan for us that is good and it is perfect. Furthermore, let's embrace patience in our spiritual growth journey. Like the growth of a seed, our transformation often takes time. So let's resist the urge to rush ahead. Instead, Trust God, trust in his perfect timing, allowing God to be God and allowing him to work in us and through us and for us and around us as us and as he sees fit to do so. And remember, family, that God's timing is always perfect and his ways are higher than our ways. 
And finally, I want to challenge you this week to commit yourself to faithfully sowing the seeds of the gospel in your life and in the life of others around you. Let's be intentional. Let's be deliberate about sharing the message of hope and love with those around us, knowing this, every single seed we sow has the potential to bring forth a bountiful, bountiful harvest. So let's be vessels of God's grace and ambassadors of his kingdom, shining his light in every dark corner of this world so we can reflect this powerful parable and be encouraged to trust in God's timing, to patiently await his harvest, and to faithfully sow seeds of hope and love wherever we go. And as we do, let's watch in awe as God's kingdom advances and his blessings overflow in our lives and in the world all around us because we are growing seeds. Well, I hope you got something out of this Bible study. Don't forget to go down in the description box below. There you will find a free full PDF of this teaching. It also includes a seven-day devotional that will take you from Wednesday to Wednesday as we pray together and includes a prayer that we'll pray together and a scripture to meditate on. Listen, thank you so much for watching the Midweek Refill. I'm Bishop A. Reginald Littman. On behalf of the New Mountaintop Church, we love you. And until next time, you go with God.